What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Young DZ. Um the infamous hot hands. Um this one is for a person who commented on one of my videos and uh that person asked me whether he or she <clears throat> um they had asked me how do you pitch shift in the FPC within Fruity Loops? And the answer to your question is you do not. Maybe in previous versions, like I remember, I want to say it's either six or seven, maybe even five, but the FPC came with its own mixer and other types of um, effects and whatnot. So maybe you could do it within five, six, and or seven, but an eight is not possible. With that being said, um, I'm not going to show the screens today, they are up though, I was working on a beat and something just said answer that man's question or that lady's question, so um, this is what I'm here to do and like I said, I'm not going to show the screens because YouTube is now on this 10 minute thing and 100 megabytes or 10 megabytes or whatever, <laughs> one gig, that's what it is, it's one gig and 10 minutes, so with that being said, um, <clears throat> Like I said, the answer to your question is you don't. What you do is, let's say you pull a sample into a track um, within pattern mode and you detect the tempo if you feel you want to do that or you already know the tempo of the sample. What you want to do is um, drag or insert, should I say, or go up the channels however you feel it's easy for you to insert a new channel. What you want to do is insert a slicer and this goes back to the video I just did like a day or two ago for somebody else who asked me about the FPC and cutting off samples but what you do is you go into um, channels add a new channel and the new channel would be the fruity slicer and from there what you want to do is pull up the original channel that you pulled the sample into and you want to take you want to take that the reason why I just paused like that was because <clears throat> I didn't know if I should show you or not just in case you didn't know but where you see the waveform pop up within the, uh, the channel settings within pattern mode for that specific track what you want to do is drag that over to the fruity slicer to take the tempo what have you and within the fruity slicer is where you would do your pitch shifting. Now within the Fruity Slicer, I'm gonna pull mine up real quick and granted, like I said, I'm not gonna show you on my screen, but what you do is um, you have a window where it shows the whole waveform through and through, however many bars you took, whether it's a whole song, one bar, two bars, etc. What you do is the one that shows the piece, like if you just click that wave, that whole waveform thing, what you do is the one right above where you see all the fo the folders, it's like two folders and then there's a, a switch blade or some type of blade and then you see the piano where it's going up, but the waveform under that is what you want to drag into your FPC um, but with that being said next to that there's four knobs and those would be under the BPMs and under the beats the only knob you want to touch as far as pitch shifting is the one that says PS which obviously stands for pitch shifting and from there you do your pitch shift and then you want you get it to where you want it and then you can drag the samples bar by bar quarter by quarter bar whatever into the FPC and then like if I was to do it now I really don't want to show the screen right now but if I was to do it right now I'm not going to do it but what you want to do, however you pitch shift it and drag it into the FPC is how it's going to come in from the slicer. You see what I'm saying? So, if that helps you, let me know. If that doesn't help you, let me know. And like I said, even if I got to re-record another video and show you step by step how I do it. Like I said, when I do these videos, I'm not going off of no Fruity Loops Bible, which I've never read, never owned, what have you. And I've owned Fruity Loops since like three, three or four. But 
everything I show y'all on YouTube is the way I do it. So I don't want nobody to get it confused. Like that's not how you do it, or there's an easier way. If it's how you do it, it's how you do it. You know, and I don't take nothing from nobody. I still learn from people too, as well. You know what I mean? But hopefully that helps you. And uh, like I said, if not, please let me know so I can better myself in helping you and the rest of the community as far as the, the, the Fruity Loop community. And um, I'm gone, man. Young Dizzy, aka Hot Hands. Peace.